Zer's in the hangar in the tower, and he is currently selling the Skyburner's Oath. This is a scout rifle that does bonus damage against Cabal and Phalanxes and has different firing. So let's look at the slug rifle. This weapon lobs large explosive seeking slugs when you're tr firing from the hip. When you're aiming down sights, these slugs travel fast and straight with higher damage and low rate of fire. Not only that, but like I said, this Cabal is this uh, weapon is full, full auto, does extra damage to Cabal and penetrates Phalanx shields. So this is really good for like this season's uh, mods are basically attached to like scout rifles. So this is going to be really good for your Cabal themed uh, nightfalls and whatnot. This is going to be really good for that. So. That's the only reason I would recommend it. Not only that, it does have a catalyst if you care about that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, for the Hunters, we get Gwyn's Invest. I am not the biggest fan of this chest piece. I think it looks fire. But each Spectral Blades kill you make before going into stealth will restore more of your super energy. Now, the way this works is you kill whatever you slash, slash, slash. And then when you do your heavy attack, which is the one that gets you invisible, that's when you get your super energy back. It used to be really busted back in the day, but I just, I don't like the, the whole thing. Like I would much rather have something that benefits me while I'm playing the game, while I'm playing the game without my super than when I'm in my super. Like it's just useless to me, but stats are okay, but I would recommend it just in case you don't have it. Um, you might never know, it might get a buff, might just be reimagined, which is what I'm hoping. Titans, you're gonna get Mask of the Quiet One, which is, pretty good grants ability energy when you're damaged when critically wounded regain maximum health on kills so this is your budget ma uh, mask of the quiet one but it also does give you ability energy this is not only just void it's for, for everything so i i'd recommend it uh, especially if you don't have it but yeah i very much like this one a lot i think the stats are pretty dark shit though you too much too much on mobility not enough on recovery i i this is all bad, but again, if you don't have it, pick it up. I never know if I might get a buff, and it's better to have it because the, the ability itself is really good. And last but not least, Vesper of Radius, which is fine. Rifts release an arc shockwave when cast. Rift energy recharges faster when you are surrounded by enemies. I don't know if the rework that they did to this means that the arc, arc shockwave doesn't kill when you're using... Uh, when you're using stasis i don't know if they changed that but i i'm I honestly don't care about this chess piece uh warlocks chime in let me know what you guys think but uh the perks aren't bad or the the uh the, the stats aren't bad i would probably put 10 on discipline so i can have 16 17 16 on the three that are most important for a warlock but yeah let me know what you guys think uh, I would obviously say pick these up if you guys don't have it better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it And last but not least let's look at what exotic I get for today And it is okay. I actually wanted yours mm. If that dude if that strength was on like recovery, I would fuck with it so hard it's mm. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll let's links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point, and I'll see you guys later.